In the ever-evolving tech landscape, a new challenge has emerged, a surge in layoffs, stirring debate and concern. But what's truly driving this trend? Is it the advance of AI, economic pressures, or something more deeply rooted in the industry's growth strategy? Let's find out. The tech scene is buzzing with talks of layoffs and the spotlights on artificial intelligence, painted as the main villain in this drama. But let's get real. Is AI truly the job snatcher everyone's making it out to be? Not by a long shot. AI has been around, fine-tuning tasks in aviation and more for years. Now it's just more visible to us all, sparking unwanted fears. AI's role? It's a data cruncher, solving old puzzles with what's already known. Not a wizard creating magic out of thin air. For the tech wizards working on cutting-edge projects or weaving complex code, AI's not even close to stepping into their shoes. It's handy, sure, but not a stand-in for human creativity and problem-solving prowess. Amidst all this, there's chatter about an economic chill on the horizon. With experts eyeing stock values and interest rates nervously, this fear of a downturn has companies playing it safe, tightening belts and, yes, initiating layoffs. It's a complex mix of evolving work paradigms, economic caution, and a dash of AI misunderstanding that's reshaping the tech world. This isn't a new scene. For the past two decades, big tech has been on a hiring spree, creating super niche roles like they're going out of fashion. Take Snapchat, for example. What started as a simple app by a small team now runs on the manpower of thousands. Do they really need an army just for the UI? Hardly. With just about 30 or 40 buttons to worry about, the math doesn't add up. Unless, of course, you're playing a different game. And that game is called employee farming. It's a clever little strategy to pull up the company size, making it look like it's constantly growing. To outsiders, especially investors, it's like watching a beanstalk shoot up overnight. More employees mean more growth, right? Wrong. It's all smoke and mirrors, a way to boost stock values without the actual growth to back it up. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Over-specialization. Gone are the days when being a jack-of-all-trades in programming could get you through any tech company's door. Nowadays, it's all about being a master of one. Like, really one. As in, I'm the button guy, kind of one. Elon Musk shaking up Twitter by cutting down 71% of its staff was a wake-up call for many. It showed that a leaner team could still keep the wheels turning, maybe even smoother than before. This move didn't just cut costs, it sparked a trend. Suddenly, every tech giant started seeing the value in trimming down, questioning if they really needed all those roles they've been hoarding. But why does this happen? Part of the blame falls on CEOs, who frankly could be doing a better job. Their approach often leans towards hiring more people for tasks that could be easily managed in-house, even for small-scale operations. Take a small company that, rather than leveraging its own team to handle social media, decides to outsource it, adding unnecessary bloat and expense. Lean startups offer a stark contrast, knowing precisely where to invest resources without succumbing to wasteful spending. Thinks, the NYC-based company known for its period underwear, they're saying goodbye to 95 workers. And then there's Proofpoint, diving into the cybersecurity pool, trimming its team by about 6% or 280 folks. That's not just a small tweak, it's a notable chunk of their global crew. Wattpad, the haven for aspiring writers, is also trimming its sales, cutting loose about 15% of its workforce. And oh, Block, the parent of your go-to payment apps like Cash App and Square, is letting go of around 1,000 people. Now, that's a headline grabber. PayPal, the veteran in digital payments, is also in the mix, with rumors swirling about layoffs in the thousands. The details are still a bit fuzzy, but it sounds like big changes are afoot. Aurora Solar, shining bright in the solar software sky, had to dim its lights a bit by laying off 20% of its staff. iRobot, the brains behind your beloved Roomba, is navigating through some dust bunnies, laying off 350 people, a third of its team, following a fallout with Amazon. Salesforce, not to be outdone, is parting ways with 700 workers, about 1% of its workforce, still feeling the ripples from a bigger 10% cut last year. Flexport, the logistics wizard, is also trimming the fat by about 20% of its staff, marking another round of cuts under the watch of its returning CEO, Ryan Peterson. Microsoft, fresh from its big Activision blizzard buy, is adjusting its gaming division staff by 1900. Swiggy, the food delivery giant, is slicing about 400 jobs, 7% of its team, as it cooks up plans for an IPO. Sounds like they're trying to get their recipe just right. Aurora, the driver of autonomous vehicle tech, confirmed a smaller cut, about 3% of its workforce, steering through some adjustments. 
eBay, the online marketplace elder, is slimming down too, cutting about 9% of its workforce. They're also trimming some contract roles, tightening their belts for the months ahead. SAP, the software giant, is offering voluntary buyouts or job changes to 8,000 employees amid a big restructuring move. Rex, the business finance platform, decided to cut 20% of its staff, a total of 282 workers. Co-CEO Pedro Franceschi said it's all about long-term thinking, a move away from short-term gains. TikTok, not just your source of viral dances, but also a major player in sales and advertising, is trimming around 60 jobs across the U.S. Seems even the social media giants aren't immune to these winds of change. Vroom, the online car seller, is making a drastic turn, cutting 90% of its workforce as it shifts gears towards auto financing and AI-powered analytics. Riot Games, the masterminds behind League of Legends, are scaling down by 11%, focusing on fewer high-impact projects. Wayfair, your go-to for home decor online shopping, is saying farewell to 13% of its global team, aiming to streamline management layers. YouTube, the video platform behemoth, is restructuring its creator management and operations teams, affecting 100 employees. Google's not sitting this one out either, cutting hundreds from its ad sales team on top of earlier hardware team layoffs. And Sundar Pichai, Google's CEO, hinted at more cuts through the year. Pixar, the dream factory of animation, is facing a harsh reality, potentially cutting up to 20% of its workforce as Disney pulls back on studio output. Audible, your audiobook companion, is navigating an increasingly challenging landscape by laying off 5% of its workforce. Discord, the community and chat hub, is scaling back too, cutting 17% of its staff as it recalibrates after rapid growth. Instacart have decided to part ways with about 250 of their team members. They say it's all part of reshaping the company. Then there's Mozilla, known for the Firefox browser, scaling back on some projects and saying goodbye to around 60 employees. And Grammarly, your go-to for avoiding email typos, is also trimming down. They're letting go of 230 people, aiming to sharpen their focus on AI. Get around. The car sharing service isn't staying behind either. They're cutting 30% of their team in North America. DocuSign, the folks at making virtual signatures a breeze, are scaling back as well, with 6% of their workforce stepping down, mainly affecting sales and marketing. Polygon Labs, dipping their toes in blockchain, also had to make a tough call, laying off 60 employees, which is 19% of their crew. And Okta, keeping your login secure, bid farewell to about 400 people. Tech interviews, once a grueling rite of passage filled with overly specific questions, are also due for an overhaul. The industry is likely to see a return to basics, valuing fundamental skills over niche knowledge. This change means that programmers who are well-rounded and deeply understand their craft will become more sought after, potentially reversing the trend of stagnating wages. As we've unraveled the complexities behind the recent tech layoffs, it's clear that the issue is multifaceted, from over-specialization to economic foresight. But what do you think will be the long-term impact of these changes on the tech industry? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights.